Works an absolute treat. You can see your level of diesel, the other tank you couldn't. Well, here we are once again, 12 months on from getting our caravan, and we want to give you guys a good rundown of uh, what we like, what we don't like, as I explained before. One thing I will say is that uh, we aren't affiliated with anyone. We're not affiliated with Great Aussie or any other caravan manufacturer. So we'll give you an honest appraisal of our van. So you would have seen a couple of episodes, obviously prior to this. So we put an episode out when we first got the caravan. It was a caravan tour. Uh, back in Cape Patterson. Then the second episode was a six month review of the pros and cons and that was an honest review. We put that out uh, in February this year. That was at Lake Bolac. And then we put out another video probably two months ago of the luxury mods that we did to, the, to this caravan. Um, and that was just filmed in the factory. So. There's three episodes that you might need to go back to to see where we started when we first built the van yeah. to where we are now. We'll start with the outside and we're basically just going to show you what changes we've made to the vans. Alright, so everything here is pretty much stock standard. We did have to change the hitch on the car. The Toyota hitch was too low for the 300 series and even though we've, we've got a GVM upgrade now and even then it's still too low so we can't use that Toyota hitch. We've got a three and a half ton hitch just got that from super cheap, I think, $70, $80. The other thing that we changed as well, we put a Safety Dave um, connector in so we can have the camera at the back of the van. So you would have seen that in one of our previous videos. We've removed the jockey wheel and our old man, my old man actually bought this for our engagement, as an engagement gift, the blackjack. Absolutely love it, rate it very highly. It's just got a foot on the bottom there works an absolute treat okay so the dog box we originally put that on that doesn't come stock standard with the great aussie they've got a bit of a smaller um box a toolbox utilities box so to speak we actually put this box on ourselves sprayed it put some vents in there and we were going to have it as an alternative to have a couple of the dogs in here with a twirly on top but we've decided just to use it for storage now like Coco is very comfortable in the back of the car. When we have Dad along, he, he brings his own dog along anyway, so Molly. So we just use this as storage. Basically, it just has electrical cables, your hoses. It's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but yeah, just a, it's a great storage box. And the other reason why initially we didn't use it as a storage box is because our tow ball weight was too heavy for the Land Cruiser. Now we have the GVM upgrade, which we'll have another episode on coming up shortly on that. All right, moving down the back, obviously we've got the standard um, tunnel boot. You don't need to see that. This here is just our vent for the Truma diesel combi uh, heater and hot water. We've got our two water, water tank fillers here. Now what we have actually done is put a third water tank in, but they didn't put a third water filler in for us because that was going to be um, a lot more work. So filling up both fillers, one goes into the front water tank, which is this one here. This is our newest one. See that? So now we've got three 95 uh, litre water tanks. These two brackets here are for our clothesline. You'll see that in a clip that I'll drop in. We love that. Um, that's one of the greatest additions we did ourselves to the caravan. Moving down, external shower. We, we have used that. Actually, this is why we use it. Because our toilet, we have mentioned this before, this particular toilet canister, you have to fill the water yourself, which is actually a massive pain in the ass. 
There's pros and cons to it though. One, the pro is that you're not using your own water from your water tanks. So it's holding its own 19 litres. No, sorry, 15 litres of water. The cassette holds 19 litres of waste. So that includes your toilet paper and number twos. So the only reason we use our external shower is to use that hose to fill this up if we forget to fill this this water cassette yeah. tank um, when we're filling up the tanks. So Troy filled that up this morning and he said it took forever and it's yeah it's a bit of a pain this this design. Yeah usually what happens is uh, your toilet is hooked directly up to your your own water tanks. Um, this has its own water filler yeah. and that's where you put the rinse in to have when you flush the toilet mm. you have your pink or blue rinse i'm guessing that outdoor shower will get used a lot more when we're in hotter climates as well we're obviously yeah. in victoria it's very cold so you're well, not the, doing a lot of swimming all right last one on this side we've just recently put in an extra hatch now this hatch is locked, locked. okay so we put this we asked for this hatch to be put in recently because the bunks are here and when and we have two toilet cassettes so when this one's full we were taking it out and putting it in the um, either the tunnel boot or the, the toolbox but now we can put it straight in here hmm. that's just me fishing gear but look at that so that's our spare toilet cassette which sits there, there perfectly it's a really nice big um hatch actually nice fishing bag couple of reels and that's the the rinse that we put in for the so this this is directly under the bunk beds which was space that wasn't was not getting used at all yeah it's really hard to get to so that's why it was a great idea laura come up with put another tunnel boot in so the guys at great aussie did that for us as well okay so you would have seen on other episodes uh just in regards to the cell fire go um i'd move that the guys are great Aussie cleaned it up for me re-ran the cable so that's great seems to be working fine now look at the end of the day when we do a big lap um, coming up very soon we'll probably look at getting uh, Starlink I think that's the way to go Harrison will be doing uh, homeschooling so we're gonna need internet um, this thing here is a great addition it's an extra that you can ask for uh, with great Aussie the wood box we use it all the time firewood for dirty clothes for whatever we rubbish we, rubbish we put in put in here it's fantastic absolutely love it all right moving along all right brand new diesel tank so you would have seen on previous episodes the diesel tank was around the other way we, we couldn't understand why they did it that way they said it's just the way the tank was I'm not sure but the lid of the t the old tank had it basically just perished it was a the quality wasn't very good at all so it split yeah the it split but split. it was the color the orange colored faded and yeah. was hardly in the sun anyway so great Aussie said that you can't just get a cap you need a, you need to get a brand new tank so he said just go out and find what tank you want uh, which I went to everything caravans in Melbourne and they had this tank here which is fantastic because one you can see your level of diesel the other tank you couldn't it, you just run out you run out two it's got a lockable cap on the top so no one can put things in there or steal your diesel and three i was able to turn it around when we first got the original one and the filler was here you're at the servo and yeah. you're having to put the hose around there and yeah. it was just ridiculous like that's just a design fault we're getting blown away by this get out gravel of, get out of the dust <laughs> darling get out of the dust this, this is one great feature that great aussie offer and this is the washing machine outside i don't think we'd change anything about this no. I w we wouldn't have another washing machine inside the van this is fantastic it's so good three liters bang bang 15 minutes done we'll see that we opted for an extra table and that's a godsend constantly putting things on here especially when you're cooking outside so yeah great idea once again you're not using any space it's out of the way it's got two lights two little lights inside here you can turn on for night time so that's fantastic you can hang your television outside which most fans actually offer um, 
We don't use, tend to use the speakers much, do we? No. No. Very rarely. Very rarely we'll use the speakers, so each to their own. But that's pretty pretty much it, apart from my favourite part. Exactly. All right. This you've seen the barbecue before. If you're new to the channel, this is a marine barbecue, marine grade, very good stainless steel. So it's four boats, very compact, and I'll put it on a fridge slide. So I used to have it in the in the toolbox, and I, I had a little table made up. And in the end, I was like, ah, oh, this I've, I've got to put it on a fridge slide. So I went to um, BCF, went to BCF and bought this fridge slide. I think it was only like a hundred and fifty dollars. It's actually quite affordable. Yeah, purchased the fridge slide, put a false floor in there in the tunnel boot, and well, that fits perfectly. And all I do, this runs on propane and also natural gas. So there you go. Very good use of that hatch. The other great benefit of having in the hatch there, uh, having the barbecue there, sorry, is that you've got a little light down here too, so when you're cooking at night, happy days. So let's talk. We've got the new water tank, so we've got what, 300 litres of water basically. We don't have a grey water tank. We basically, if we're at a, a camp where you need to collect your grey water, we can just use 20 litre drums and we can collect our own water, that's fine. We've also put an extra solar panel up on the roof, which gives us, how many solar panels we got up there now? We've got five. Five up on the roof. I wanted six. What I might do is remove the antenna altogether. We're gonna run everything off Wi-Fi, so we're not gonna need a TV antenna and that takes up a lot of roof space. So I'm gonna remove that and put another solar panel up there. And that's it for the outside of the van. All right, now onto the inside. inside. All right, so this van, 20 foot 10, gasless if you're not aware. Um, we decided not to have gas in the van apart from our little propane bottle that we have for our barbecue. Otherwise we just run off 340 amp hours of lithium battery uh, which is quite sufficient, especially now that we've got more solar panels up on the roof. <laughs> Laura's a bit puffed out. She's I feel still, like... She's, a bit, she's still a bit sick. Oh, I am sick, and I feel like I've just been blown away outside. Mm. Yeah, well, it, like I said, it's very windy. <laughs> but we're inside now, and we're going to give you a rundown on the van, on the interior, the things that we've changed, and the things that um, we would do differently next time we get another van. Yeah. All right, let's start down the front here. I think this works really well. One thing I will say, and we'll talk about last night, is that we tend to put a lot of stuff on either side, so we still get off at the end of the bed. That's just the way it is at the moment. And it's, well, it's very tight down there. And it it's, is. I mean, like, you, don't, you don't get changed there. I can't, like, I'm yeah. not that big, but I can't really, I can barely just fit in here. Yeah. What we've done to Troy's side's a bit neater than mine, because he's got no clothes in here. But what we've done to the cupboards is we've both got hanging um, hanging cupboards. So I bought these from Kmart and you just put your clothes in here and then I got <coughs> these little containers to put your socks and jocks and bras and undies in. And that, and that also holds that down so it's not moving everywhere. So those work really well. Yeah, one thing I will say is so the power points there where they're situated just down here tend to be in the way a bit especially if you have you know a water bottle here and then you need to open this cupboard up and there's cords and leads and stuff it would be better in that tunnel boot in that little nook when we hit the road full time then we'll give you a rundown of where we store our clothes and our shoes and how we how we make it work for us because we can't be having stuff in the sides of the beds because you need to be able to get in and out we've got cupboards at the bottom I store my shoes in the bottom there, and then in here, this is where we just store all our... Neurofen. <laughs> no, there's nothing in there at the moment because we're... We don't live in here. Yeah, it's... Everything's packed in a bag. Underneath, this is where we keep Cooey's water bowl and food bowl. Now, she's having to stretch and really kneel down to get into here, so... 
not sure how long that will stay there for. If it's really tough for her, I'll bring her bowl out. I don't make it. I'm not a mat. I'm not a mean mummy. Okay. You can do. <laughs> Under here is our diesel combi heater and hot water system. So that takes up a lot of our underbed storage. We've got the clothesline, the caravan mat, and our picnic basket. The spare TV. And the spare TV. That's the original TV that came with the caravan. It's got the DVD player, but doesn't have, it's not a smart TV. Also just um, touch base on the, on the combi heater. Uh, this a combi heater that just solely runs on diesel. You can get a combi heater that runs on both diesel and electricity. So we didn't know that when we first purchased the, the Truma, when we asked Great Aussie to put it in there. We just thought it was just a diesel heater, but after reading up on it, you can actually get it an element heated combi. Well, a three a three way, yeah. so a, a diesel heater, diesel hot water, and a electric heater. Yeah. And so when you're water. plugged in at caravan parks, you're going to have hot water straight away. Where at the moment, that's a 14 litre, 14 litre diesel combi heater. So it does take 15 minutes to heat up. And then, you know, for two people, you can have a shower each, but you gotta be quick. they're not, they're not long yeah. showers, which is not too bad anyway, because then you're not obviously not using a lot of water. Yeah. Uh, the only other thing we keep here is the vacuum cleaner. That's not so much of an issue for me. It just sits behind here. Um, I can use it as a full vacuum cleaner or just a dust buster. That's very, very handy. Loving this new carpet that we put in. It just feels so good when you get off, out of bed at, in the morning. And the hatch. I think we'll, we'd want a bigger hatch here and get rid of that hatch. Is yeah, that you don't need you don't need two hatches. Well, we find that you don't need. You're just going to use up roof space. So, I think a hatch directly over the bed is fine if you can open it up and you know look at the stars or whatever. That would be really handy. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need one in the middle. The other thing they've done here in Great Aussie, there's like what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lights. For such a small area so i don't think you need so many lights and there's no lighting in the in this back area here there's a yeah. speaker but no lighting so I, I would put a light in here and we've basically just put a little light little bunnings light in there yeah, for harrison sense, when he's there a sense light mm. um yeah so i think a bigger hatch here would be nice the other thing is we don't ever use these lights no. so these hatches have these switches on them but we don't use them. We always use the uh, the normal caravan down lights. But uh, I mean, they're handy. Yeah. So overkill with the lighting. Caravan, that's that's a must. You can either get a caravan or you can get a Dometic one. I'm not sure what the Dometic ones are like. I've never used them, but the caravan works really well. Um, your stock standard Sirocco fans, another, they're great. Like everyone rates them for good reason. They're really good. One little modification that we did make was put this clothesline up. And that's a beauty. This is just from Bunnings. So that's very cheap. I, what did I pay for that? I think it was $15, was yeah, it? Yeah, so cheap. I mean, you could put a few of them up there so you can lock it in place and you can just hang your clothes. It's out of, out of the way in our van. So, and then you can just retract it back in. So out of the way, nice and neat. Yeah. Does it, the job. It's hidden behind there as well. Yeah. Alright, moving into the kitchen dining area. Well, let's start with this. How do we like this bench seat? Um, not a massive fan of the bench seat. It's it's a bit incumbent to get in. I know you can move the table out and move it around, but it it's not super comfy. No. Like you you sort of want to lie down. It's it's a bit sort of hard. Yeah, look, it's fine to eat on, but if you want to just kick back and watch TV or whatever, it's a bit, it's not very comfortable, yeah. put it that way. So just <laughs> underneath here, we have our inverter, our battery system, pretty much stock standard, run of the mill battery system that everyone has in their, their caravans. Uh, there's a little bit of storage under there as well. The other thing I would do differently is I wouldn't go a black couch anymore. I'm forever wiping the dust off it. Just it just gets very dusty. Yeah, I mean, there's pros and cons to that. You can see the dust, so you get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, you're forever cleaning it. 
I'd go a fabric next time, just softer. Um, I know that you can wipe leather down, but... In vacuum the fabric. I think after staying in the Airstream caravan, I'm a little bit converted now to this big mm. couch at the front and fabric. Yeah, seems to work really well. Coming into the kitchen area, absolutely love the fact that we don't have an oven. We do a lot of cooking, um, as you probably noticed on, on our channel, if you've watched it. Um, we always love to cook our own meals. We very rarely go out. We do every now and then for a bit of a date night, but we just enjoy cooking. And um, initially I thought, oh, it might be a bit hard to cook without an oven, but I haven't missed it one little bit. We've got the barbecue, we can cook as an oven in there. We also, also do a lot of campfire cooking. And we have the induction here that works really well. Uh, heats up straight away. It's a nice flat open bench. We've got plenty of bench space to cut up and put things. So it works really well. You can use it as a bench. You know, I just put a tea towel on here, put this um, extra piece of chopping board on there if I need to. And yeah. Yeah, this is a great little addition. Just cutting this chopping board out that fits directly into the sink. Um, it's out of the way. You can cut, cut on there. It's fantastic. Um, yes, we do have a dishwasher in here. No, it wasn't put in by Great Aussie. Um, they don't actually offer that service and there's a couple of reasons for that. The manufacturers are not sure that whether they'd give you warranty on the unit itself if something was to happen. In saying that, this is an RV uh, dishwasher, okay? So you can have it sitting on a bench or you can install it directly yourself, which is what I've done. We've used this every single day of the week and absolutely wouldn't can't go without it now can we no, i love it <laughs> it's so good it is just just gets dishes away we've got dishes in there but we don't have it on we're on a bit of a lean and obviously the water's not going to be able to pump through the through the tanks because of the angle that we're on we don't have a lot of water we didn't fill the tanks yeah up. we didn't fill the water up so so it's just out of the way at the moment so rather than dishes just piled up into mm. the sink very rarely the only time we'll wash in the sink is if we've got a big pot and, mm. and we'll just hand wash that. But usually we finish dinner, our dishes, quick rinse, our dishes go straight in here. It only uses five liters of water. So it's extremely efficient. You can have it on different settings, 15 minutes, 30 minute or an hour. I couldn't have another caravan without a dishwasher. No. And I was, say, I was saying to Troy, do we need to buy another one just in case to keep it yeah, on just... hand so they don't sell out of them. But yeah. uh, this is the Midia. The Midia dishwasher, it was just from Big W, it was 500 bucks. You have to buy it online, you can't go in store and buy it. Alright, uh, I spoke before about the self I go that was moved. This little unit here, I've got to fix that hole up, that, that looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> Pretty much shit formed by me, but um, I've been meaning to fill that up. This is a little receiver that you need to receive from your phone that talks back to the unit. Now, when Great Aussie initially installed this, I don't think they've previously installed them before because they had this receiver directly up against the box and then they had the antenna too close to the box so it was all just fighting against each other so once I read into it and looked into it a little bit more I realized that this needed to be away from the box itself which is in here so that all just runs in through there so we had to move all that which was a bit of a, a bit more of a mission than first thought we'll just show you this conduit what we had to do because it was a bit of a mission had to the conduit runs from there in behind the window and up to that back vent yeah while yep. we're here we've got the bunk beds the two bunk beds harrison's up on the top bunk which when he's with us he absolutely loves it it's his little space so he's got a 240 um, volt power points he's got a light it's got a usb socket underneath the light switch he's got his pocket to put his books in and his ipad phone and then he's got really deep cupboards which on this side is the games cupboard and then his bag can go in there so it's quite a quite a good space for him it is good and you know he's got his window yeah and you can look out get fresh air and look outside yeah i mean like imagine sleeping up here right now yeah i know it's a beautiful view it's a bit it's a bit dusty the window, but never mind. Coco's down the bottom. Then we've got the Kui. <laughs> she loves that there. It's her own little space. Yeah. She's so used to this bed. If I yeah. open the door on the caravan, she'll run in and go and sit up here. Yeah. Won't you, darling? Into the shower. 
what we've done differently here, we've, we've put up some dispensers. And then one of our amazing followers actually made these for us. These are uh, labels. The labels, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So that was pretty cool. Very and then she even did a like a King Billy, <laughs> King Billy sign. So thank you very much for that. Um, Sylvia. Yeah, Sylvia. And Dad absolutely loved did seeing you? his name on there, King <laughs> Billy. He was pretty happy with that. So yeah, but that works really well. Um, basically, I think I screwed that in and with a bit of silicon didn't they? Well, it's double sided tape. Yeah, it was double sided tape and silicon. That's right. You haven't didn't, screwed it. No, I didn't screw yeah. anything, yeah. And what we do when we travel is just put it in this little glove. Stops it marking the bottom of the, the floor. Yeah. So that's the shower. One thing I will say is we extended the bunks 100 mil. So to do that we had to take 100 mil out of the shower and the toilet so they're a little bit smaller but they're actually still they're fine though like, yeah they're still they're still good size for us of, heaps of room in the shower like um toilets pretty much the same well get ready still got lots of room yeah plenty of room plenty of storage we've got a nice big window in here but yeah that's the uh I wouldn't change anything about the bathroom. And we also went with a smaller fridge and freezer. And I know a lot of people, you know, love their big fridges and for whatever reason, if they've got a big family or whatnot. But we decided to go a little bit smaller. There's only so much food you can eat at one particular time. Plus we have the fridge car as well. So that's 40 litres in there. Uh, but we absolutely love and wouldn't change the freezer. So easy to access. Oh, love that freezer. Yeah, it does does really well and the fridge is like there's i don't think we've ever had an issue with no it was always it, been plenty of room it's all about tetris and eating what you've got like mm. if you just stuff so much stuff in there you're going to forget what you've got mm. food will go off especially fruit and veg i did want to say something about this um black looks amazing but oh my god does it leave toothpaste stains all the time yeah. so even though you might wash it all off and it looks like that um if you don't wipe it down it just it's everywhere so i probably wouldn't get a black sink again yeah, to be you, honest you'd go white white yeah yeah I'd, I'd probably tend to agree with that i think black was pretty modern back in the day and like i said it looks good but it's not practical for cleaning mm. like the couch so there you have it. There's not too much more things that we would change. I mean, we absolutely love the van. Now we've sorted out all the little teething issues and we've worked out how things work properly for the 12 month uh, review. Uh, we, we, we wouldn't change too many things apart from, you know, like Laura just spoke about with the black, the black pack sinks and stuff, because it does look pretty dirty at times yeah. and the black, the black sofa. Um, but yeah, we'd definitely get another dishwasher. It is a little bit annoying removing the TV all the time, so maybe an inbuilt television. Mm. And the, the decor, I, I still like the wood. I think the wood bench tops look really good, and I really like the white, white cupboards, mm. white splashback. I think that's yeah. never going to date. No. It's all about how you do your Style. your styling. Um, I've just tilted this on an angle, and the diffuser just sits in there and that's how we travel with that that coffee machine doesn't move that's a ripping coffee machine too by the way yeah. just your little pod machine don't have to carry any big coffee machine or coffee that's it guys that's it so thank you very much for tuning in once again mm. if you're new to the channel please um subscribe if you like the content and you yeah. want to see some more if you want to see us go on a big lap, so subscribe for sure. It's not too far away. Yeah, and if you've got any questions about our caravan, let us know and we'll we'll look into our order and let you know. Um, because we've had a few people now want to buy a great Aussie and yeah. we would actually get another great Aussie. It's value for money. Uh, now they've got a good general manager running the show. Yeah. And the build is pretty nice. Like, um, yeah, you get you get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, we you will do. we will say that, and we've we've gone through a lot of caravans mm. on many shows. So like everyone else, you do your homework. Um, we loved the van. We had early issues throughout that COVID period, 
but it's all fixed now, isn't it? Yeah, and luckily I got a good handyman, so when things do fall apart, he can fix them. But you you got to be prepared to do that yourselves as well. Yeah, nothing's going to be perfect. There's always going to be something that will break. Um, but there you have it. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, and if you like our location at the moment, um, stay tuned for next week's episode of us camping in the Mornington Peninsula. It's a beauty. <laughs> see you guys.